Good day everyone. So we have here in Science 4, week 7 to 8, identifying changes that are useful and harmful in the environment by Maria Janine V. Margallo, Teacher 1. The learning tasks in the previous lessons will help you to identify the changes in materials, whether useful or harmful to one's environment, which is the focus of this lesson. Identifying changes that are useful and harmful in the environment. Let us see figure 4 below. Is the place clean? Have you seen places like this in your community or in other places that you have been? You probably have spent time with your friends and other relatives in a swimming or playing in a clean and safe playground before pandemic occurred. Have you enjoyed your activities in this kind of place? The immediate place where you are exposed to you is your environment. In a sea or river, there are different things that you may see. There are living and land-living things found in them. The natural environment where you are now is your home with your family and other organisms as the living component. In the sea, there are rocks, stones, sand and water that are found. These are the non-living things where humans and other living organisms interact. What are the living and non-living things found in the playground? Are there activities that may be useful or harmful in your environment? There are interactions that lead to changes in the materials found in our home and in our environment. Seas are the habitat or environment for fish and other marine organisms. The playground has some benches and slides where you may rest or play. These materials making up the environment are always changing. Do you want to know why? When land or bodies of water are dumped with garbage of any kind such as empty bottles, plastics, toxic waste, chemicals, from the factories and others, the land and bodies of water become polluted. Land and water pollution are not useful in the environment. Water pollution is very harmful because the fish will be harmed as their habitat will be destroyed. Trees when cut can be harmful because some animals live on trees. This will also cause flood in the area. It causes soil erosion, loss of habitat to animals, rapid change in temperature, and affects the quality of air that we breathe. Polluted land serves as breeding places for flies, cockroaches, and rats. These pets carry germs that cause diseases Hence, hazard those to one's health. The use of fertilizers and other chemicals in plants harm our environment. This will lead to problem of air, water, and soil pollution. The nutrient enrichment phenomenon, known as eutrophication, will deteriorate the water quality leading to death of fishes. In addition to this, the seepage or fertilizers and pesticides also pollutes the groundwater that we use for our daily household use. The harmful effects of changes in the environment are oftentimes caused by human activities. When the surrounding air is blanketed with smoke from factories and motorized vehicles, 
ashes, and other dust particles, the air becomes polluted. Polluted air causes skin itchiness, lung infections, cancer, and other respiratory diseases. Burning of garbage such as plastic materials, rubber, and other waste is harmful also to the environment. Many items in household garbage when burnt, release dangerous toxic materials that contribute to global warming because the smoke is close to the ground. It can also settle on fruits, vegetables, and other vegetation that become dangerous for humans' consumption and destruction of wildlife. However, there are changes in the environment that are found to be useful. The flowering of trees into fruits, utilization of leftover food into compost, the use of animal manure for fertilizers, and the recycling and upcycling of different local materials are helpful to keep the environment clean and more adaptable for human, plants, and animals to live. This will lead to activities in food production and maintenance of a clean and green environment. Learning task number one, there are human activities that are either useful or harmful in the environment. Complete the table below by examining the situation or picture. First picture, human activities shown in the picture. So the activity is burning of garbage or tires. Okay, it is harmful because the effect in the environment is air pollution or respiratory ailments. How about the situation number two? Planting of vegetables in a vacant land. What is the activity shown in the situation? We have vegetables gardening. So it is harmful or useful. It is useful. The effect in the environment is food production, flood control, or prevent soil erosion. About How about the last picture? What is the human activities in the picture? Okay, we have here cutting of trees. These are useful or harmful. So, this is harmful. So, what is the effect in the environment? So, it is harmful because we have we flood, soil erosion, landslide, loss of habitat of animals and plants. That is the effect in the environment. For learning task number two, Draw a happy face if the given situation states changes in the materials that are useful in the environment and sad face if it states harmful effect. For number one, cutting and shaping pieces of used wood or lumber into chair. Is that harmful or useful? Okay, that is happy face that is useful. How about number two? Water on rivers and streams become contaminated with plastic waste. Okay, that is sad face. That is harmful effect. Number three, lung infection and other respiratory diseases became rampant due to the excessive smoke from factories and motorized vehicles. What is the effect? Is that harmful or useful? Okay, that is harmful. We have here sad face. Number four, recycling of waste for organic fertilizer. Recycling of waste for organic fertilizer is useful. So therefore, we have here a happy face. Number five, Dumping of garbage in bodies of water. 
okay, that is sad face, it is harmful effect. Number six, cutting of trees in the community. We have sad face, that is harmful effect. How about number seven, vegetables gardening. Okay, it is useful, that is happy face. How about number eight? Flowering of trees for early onset of fruiting. We have here a happy face. Number nine, clean up drive in the community. Okay, that is happy face. It has a useful effect. Then the last number, number ten, we have here flies, cockroaches, and rats breed on garbage thrown on the street. Okay, it is sad face. It has a harmful effect. Learning task number three. What kind of pollution is described in each situation? Choose the letter of the best answer. We have here the different type of pollution. A. Air pollution. B. Water pollution. C. Land pollution. Let me give you example number one. Farmers can no longer harvest vegetables. So that is letter C, land pollution. How about number two? Red tide is affecting the northern coast of the country. So red tide, that is letter B, water pollution. How about number three? The smell of the garbage is suffocating the villagers. That is what type of pollution we have. Letter A, air pollution. How about number four? Mine tiling are thrown in the rivers. Then number five, garbage is thrown in empty spaces in residential areas. Number six, factories release harmful smoke. Seven, chicken manures release foul odor all over the town. The number 8, villagers dump their trash on a vacant lot at the back of the school. 9, fishermen use dynamite while fishing. Then, number 10, we have using detergent soap while washing clothes in the river. So, you can choose your answer in letter A, air pollution, B, water pollution, and letter C, land pollution. Learning task number four, identify the following changes that will happen in the materials in each activity or situation. Tell whether they are useful or harmful in the environment. Write the correct answer in the proper column. Okay, let me give you an example. Number one, so we have here the column, useful and harmful. We have here the situation, 1 to 10. So you're going to put this situation according to their effect. Is it useful or harmful? For number 1, cutting of trees. So cutting of trees, is that useful or harmful? Okay, yes, that is harmful. So we're going to put cutting of trees on the column of harmful. How about number two, shaping of wood to make furniture? Is that useful or harmful? Okay, so number two, shaping of wood to make furniture is in the column of useful. Okay, for number three and number ten, okay, examine the situation and you can put it on the right column. Is it useful or harmful? Learning task number 5. Read the situations below, then write your reflection in a separate sheet of paper or notebook. Materials, paper or notebook, pen, color pens, or crayons. Number 1. Recall a situation at home or in the community where you participated in keeping the environment clean. If there are no experiences yet, try to make a plan of joining any clean-up drive 
or doing some household activities that will be useful and help to save the environment. Number two, write at three to five sentences regarding your experiences. Use the template below. So we have here our template. I understand that. Then your answer. Then we have here. I realize that. Then your write your answer. Learning task number six. Read each situation carefully. Choose the letter the best correct answer. The following activities done in the materials are useful to the environment, except blank. A. Both sides of the band paper were used when writing. B. Old newspaper were used in wrapping gifts. C. Echo bag was used in buying groceries. D. Insecticides were used in killing insects. We have here letter D. Insecticides were used in killing insects. Number two, which activity caused change that has harmful effect in the environment? A. Carved wood. B. Landscape land. C. Molded clay path. D. Deforested mountain. So what is the harmful effect in the environment? We have letter D. Deforested mountain. Number three, number three, which of the following changes in the materials is not harmful to the environment? A. Throwing garbage in the canal. B. Using paper bags when shopping. C. Throwing hospital waste in the river. D. Using detergents in washing clothes in the river. So which are not harmful in the environment? We have letter a using paper bags when shopping number four which activities are useful in the environment we have here situation one burning of garbage two vegetables gardening three deforestation four composting so which are these is useful in the environment a one and three b two and four C1, 2, and 3. D2, 3, and 4. So, correct answer is letter B. 2 vegetables gardening and 4 composting. So, these are the useful in or activities that are useful in the environment. Number 5. What is or are the harmful effect of melting of ice or glazers in other parts of the world? We have here situation 1, flood, 2, destruction of habitat of some animals, 3, forest fires, 4, drought. So letter A, 1, 2, and 3, B, 2, and 4, C, 1, and 2, D, 4 only. So our answer is letter C. So, the harmful effect of melting of ice or glaciers in other parts of the world are flood and destruction of habitat of some animals. That's all about changes of materials which is harmful or useful in the environment. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. God bless. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share the video. Thank you.